YouTube. I'm starting on my next project, man. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a gun case. Uh, now, I've got a gun, you know, that I bought a little while back. I did a few videos on that, and it's an AK-74. And the box that it came in was kind of a nice practical size. I kind of liked the box that it came in. And I thought I might make a case just like that. Now, I know a lot of people like the tactical cases with all the molly on it and all the pockets, and that's cool too. But I thought, you know, that a, a regular case might be cool as well. But I couldn't decide whether I was going to make a finished one with some nice wood with a liner on the inside or a more of a military box crate style. But I was up at the store, and I saw the crates that those Mosin Nagats come in. The guy had them set up there. And I took a little inspiration from that crate. So that's the style I'm going to do. Now, I may do a fancy one. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But let me show you the box that it came in, and I'll give you the idea of kind of the dimensions that I'm working with. All right, now this, you know, it just kind of came in this box here. And you can see the dimensions inside this box. So it could stand to be just a little bit, maybe a little bit shorter, and maybe a little bit this way, a little bit more narrow. So what I want to do is basically build this same dimension box and put some, maybe some compartments so that stuff doesn't shift around in there. That's basically it. So let's get started.
All right, man, we're ready to start painting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the outside. I'm not going to paint the inside because I don't want oils and different things to soften the paint and then the paint transfer onto the uh, items in the case. So I'm going to probably paint this top lip here and paint the outside. Alright man, it's all done, it's finished, and it's painted, it's all ready. Uh, the hardest part I had doing this project was getting the hardware. I looked all over trying to find specific types of hardware that I wanted for the hinge, which wasn't too hard, but the handle and the uh, hasps. I, I just, I, I ordered some off of Amazon, they came in, they were too small, that wasn't what I was looking for. I ended up buying some hasps off of, uh, up at Lowe's. Because I really, I, I couldn't find what I wanted anywhere. So, let's take a look at this thing and see what we got. Alright, let's take a look in there. Look at that. Rifle fits in there nicely, nice and snug. I've got uh, room for a bayonet. I've got uh, room for, let's see, over here. I've got room for uh, two magazines. I've only got one in here right now, but there's I could stack two in there. In the center compartment, right here, I've got plenty of room for bulk ammo. And then down here, I've got two more magazines. Now, I painted this. <laughs> what I did was, if you go to Russia, if you've ever been to Russia, they have a, an odd assortment of colors that they use in a lot of different places. You go in hallways and buildings, cars and, you know, buses and stuff. They use these utility colors. So I wanted to get this funky green that their military sometimes uses. So I looked around and I found this color here, and this is the color I went with. I was trying to get something that would kind of match the Soviet look, uh, and so that's what I came up with. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Listen, I appreciate the comments you guys leave. I appreciate you watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video.